Um, let me start by saying that the pornography industry and ac some academic sexologist will point out that there is no direct peer-reviewed prospective study looking at pornography and either adults or children. Therefore, they say it can't be addictive or harmful or change the brain or harm children or adults. Let me address that briefly, and then I'll go into the child aspect of that. So um, Dr. Layden referred to the Wax, Henry Waxman's committee in the Tobacco 7, where we all saw them, one after another, say, it's not addictive and it's not harmful, with their PhD experts. And I think they're probably the only seven people in the world that believed that it, tobacco wasn't addictive, if you think about it. The rest of us uh, uh, you know, believe that and, and know that now. Yet there never was uh, a peer-reviewed study. In fact, in Salon, there was a recent article by some academic sexologists who said, to prove that pornography is harmful, we have or addictive, addictive, we have to have a prospective study where we take two cohorts of children. One, we addict to pornography, scan them before and after, and follow them with scans and also behavioral parameters. The other one, we protect and scan them before and after, and then we compare the scans later. That's their standard for proving pornography. Yet I would ask them, is where is the tobacco study? the child study, that is, the one where we take two cohorts of children, right? And we take one and we give them all cigarettes and say, okay, kiddies, let's start smoking. Here's how you light the cigarette. And then we follow them, and then we take another cohort of children, protect them. And of course, that study doesn't exist. Yet, is tobacco addictive? Of course it is. Why do we know that? Because we now understand brain science. We understand what a neuroreceptor is. We understand the concepts of neuroplasticity. That is how the brain changes when we learn anything, particularly a powerful reward, of which sexuality is the most powerful reward. It produces brain chemicals like Delta Fos B, which turn on that learning craving switch. We found it first in cocaine and drugs, but now we have found it with natural addictions as well, with food and with sex. And in children, particularly, Delta Fos B is expressed even more potently. And that's why at least one reason that, yes, children and emerging adults, particularly with their incompletely formed frontal lobes and executive control centers, are much more vulnerable to the addictive nature of pornography.